Golden perch or yellowbelly are our second biggest freshwater native and they've thrived in stocked dams or impoundments all the way from South Australia to central Queensland. Fishing for them with lures in these dams is incredibly popular. Like most other styles of lure fishing, it's evolved over the years and constantly changes. I recently wrote a detailed ebook on exactly this subject as part of my Growing Tight Lines series, and you can find a link to that book in the comments below. It goes into great depth on the biology, distribution, growth rates, life cycle and diet of the golden perch and focuses in particular on my 30 plus years of experience targeting these great fish at Lake Windermere near Mudgee in central western New South Wales. This dam is one of the country's premier yellowbelly waters and it's hardly surprising that so much development in tackle and techniques has happened here over the years. One bloke who's been at the cutting edge of every breakthrough is my mate Glenn Stewie Stewart. Recently Joe and I caught up with Glenn at Windermere for a master class on fishing lightly weighted soft plastics in mid-water over and around dense weed growth. Every year is a little different here, but if the levels remain reasonably steady through spring, one thing you can bank on is the prolific growth of aquatic vegetation in these fertile waters. This thick weed and slime really frustrates a lot of lure fishers, but it also holds heaps of life. You just need to work out how to avoid getting your lure completely clogged up with slime and snot on every cast. The other thing that's common in spring is dense shoals of small bait fish, many of which become weak and helpless during their spawning process, their prime golden tucker. Savvy anglers target the edges and breaks in the weed beds using various lures, but soft plastic grubs and tea tails are perfect when rigged on light jig heads or weedless worm style hooks. These are best fished by casting as close to the weed edges as possible before commencing a slow shaking retrieve. The idea is to keep the lure above the weed and moving seductively. This is achieved by slowly cranking the reel while shaking or bouncing the rod tip. It can take a little getting used to and a fair degree of concentration but it's well worth mastering. Keep slowly probing those weed edges and breaks in the weed. Vary your retrieves to keep the lure just out of the slime. Everyone has a slightly different action and the locals are always keen to watch the individual nuances and offer their opinions. But if you keep targeting the prime structure, success will come. On what's effectively brim gear consisting of fine braid and three or four kilo litres, decent yellows put up a good stoush too. You can't rush them and there can be some nerve wracking moments avoiding the weed and the sticks. Feisty little fella. <laughs> that was great. Well done, mate. These fat footballs don't taste great, so we always prefer to measure them and let them go for someone else to enjoy catching in the future. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> A bit premature. Grassy banks and rocky edges all produce fish. It's just a matter of hanging in there and making lots of casts. Oh, it sounds a bit heavier. Oh my goodness. Got no thing. Oh, he's got a good, yeah, nice. he's got a good friend came with him. Thanks. I think he caught the smaller. Oh right. A quick grip and grin photo, then it's back into the water and back into the fishing. And with target showing on the sounder, anticipation levels are high. However, there's a big difference between seeing them and catching them. But stick with it, that weed is swarming with food and big fat goldens won't be too far away, often sitting well up in the water column. 
Sure enough, Stewie's soon on again, and this one's pretty lively, peeling plenty of light braid from the reel. Glenn guides it through the obstacles and towards Joe's waiting net. <laughs> Success. Hook out and another quick photo of a trophy sized golden perch, then another successful release of a beautiful fish. The message is clear don't be scared of that weed. Learn how to work with it and around it, and you'll catch plenty of fish. Tight lines. <laughs>